I think you feel that this uh, rebound in crude is not speculative, but fundamental supply and demand. Absolutely. There's no evidence of it being responsive to speculative flows. And everything that we can think of indicates that inventories are drawing at a nearly record rate, well over 3.2 million barrels a day. And if our revision of last uh, winter's numbers, this past winter's uh, numbers uh, really come to bear where we think they will be, this, this inventory drop could be three and a half million barrels a day. That's exactly what the Saudis wanted to do to get prices up and stretch out the backwardation on the forward curve. Is there any sign uh, that OPEC plus uh, will be eager to pump more? Or do you think they're going to hold where they are? I think the Saudis have become very conservative about uh, worrying about where demand is going. They really want to see that inventory number back down at the five-year average when it's still going to be uh, almost a quarter away from that uh, when this quarter ends. So I think they're going to be adding much less back to the market than they were allowed to, uh, to put back in. Uh, so I think they're, they're going to play it right through the spring to make sure that, uh, that the market really does uh, get re rebalanced faster than not. And I think they want to wait and see what happens between the Biden administration and Iran to see if there's any large set of Iranian oil coming back in the market anytime soon. Yeah. Ed, I mean, of course, the wild card we've seen where production numbers globally are concerned in the last couple of years has been those U.S. producers. And historically, when we've seen the price uh, of crude go up, we've seen output from those U.S. producers go up as well. When I see WTI at 58 bucks a barrel, is that something you would expect to happen again here or with a Biden administration that's now focused on clean energy and, and curbing some of those those drilling possibilities? Is it going to be a different story? I think it's not a different story. The U.S. oil scene is one where production is based on where oil prices are. There's nothing that's been done by the Biden administration that can stop that from happening again. There's plenty of pipelines with spare capacity in the system to bring out more oil. Uh, and at these prices, yes, we expect that there to be a continuing ramp up in rig utilization. Bear in mind that where rig rates currently are at just about the 300 number for oil directional drilling, that's not enough to stop oil production from declining. We have to see added a good 100 more rigs to hmm. the system before we see that decline stopping and then a reversal setting in. So, yeah, I think there will be a shell response. And the longer we see these high prices, the worse it's going to be But for the rest of the world. But, and the better it's going to be for American production. But that's not a 2021 story. It's very much a 2022 story. There's almost no way for oil production this year to get higher than last year's numbers. And we're already down more than 2 million barrels a day against the peak. So there's a way to go. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.